belter of a morning and uh, we're underway again today I think we're going to cook them wherever that is I just go by what Tony yeah, says we just left behind us a lovely little mooring that was and uh, just going to enjoy the cruise on this leg of our journey we leave our moorings at Eaton Dorney near Dorney Lake and head upstream through the Maidenhead bridges until we reached Cookham Lock Moorings where we stayed the night. Next day we continued our journey through Harleyford Marina, past Harleyford Marina and Hambledon Marina finally ending up in Henley. Very nice it looks too. Properties further downstream were nice. Just look at these. Well, that's some boathouse, that is. party boat that was going up and down in the evenings with their discos going and the really good music gotta say so we're now currently in Braylock which is our first lock of the day there's always a first lock of the day <laughs> but they are beautiful locks well kept even have a problem with downed trees on the river. That must have been uh, from the last lot of storms I would have thought. Some of these places, the boat houses, we could put Amy Joe in. They're that big. now is the Maidenhead Railway Bridge. There's two bridges here and the next one's further on. We'll look at that in a minute. I'm going to have to stop filming houses like this I think. They're just everywhere. And this is the other Maidenhead Bridge. I'm going to put a picture up in a minute because this house in the background is in the photograph of when I was about five and we moored along this wall and this must have been where we moored because I recognised that house the white one in there although the trees weren't as big then so we are pretty certain that these are 24 hour moorings so we're pretty certain that mum, dad, nan, granddad and myself moored along this stretch somewhere by those two houses. We've just arrived at Bolter's Lock and it's got to be the shortest lock landing of all of them. 
so we've had to come on the other side but uh, we're just waiting for the lock to empty and the boats to come out and then we can proceed we've managed to get into the lock now and uh, Jen, for some reason, has decided she's going to hold the rope up there and not on the boat, so I don't blame her. Tony's clinging on for dear life at the back there. <laughs> Wind's going to be too much on this Just way. around the corner there is our next lock, which is Cookham Lock, but as you can see, there's a bit of a queue, so uh, we're likely to be here for a little while. But it's no different to being on the canals in the locks. Quite pleasant scenery here, so it's quite nice just to hover. We've left our lovely moorings at Cookit Lock and we're just locking out of the lock itself and our destination today is going to be Henley and what a beautiful morning once again a sculpture clear blue skies again and uh, hardly any wind so it's already it's only nine o'clock and already it's up in the high 20s it's really hot so it should be a good cruise today not sure what footage I'm gonna get because I went to charge the uh, GoPro power bank up last night and I plugged it in but I didn't switch the mains on so it hasn't charged up so we're GoPro less this morning so we're only relying on our little DJI pocket camera here and this phone so we'll see what we get the boat, go ahead. better than that 
an inspection launch with air conditioning. That can't be bad, can it? Oh, looks like the kids are having a whale of a time in the canoes over there. All rafted together, stepping across like they do to teach you to change boats and all that. Looks good fun for them. So this is Marlow Lock. And uh, I've just been reminded, you're supposed to turn your engine off in the locks. And Jan shouted to Tony, and that reminded me to turn mine off. Not used to doing that in locks. Sorry about the wind noise, folks. But uh, this looks really pretty round here. This is Temple Lock and unfortunately we were a little bit too long to go in with all the other boats so Tony and Jan have gone through and we're going to meet them at the next lock. in the distance signifies a lock nearby. Should be Hambledon Lock if I'm correct. This is Mill Marina. Sure enough, just ahead of us is the, is the lock. What I can never understand with this, people say don't waste water in the locks. But you've got all this water going over the weirs, which would go in the lock if you were using it. So how can you be wasting water in a lock? I'm not sure, but I'm wondering whether this could be left over from the Indimigata. Preparations for it even. Not quite sure what it is, but uh, something big being set up there unless it's a scout jamboree or something judging from the little bivouac tent i'm guessing it'll be a, something to do with the scouts i would think the 
traditionally known as Temple Island. Uh, there's a temple on there, I'm not sure if you're allowed on there. But, uh, this informs me there might be a concert on. And that's what it's all being set up for. And again, apology for the wind noise, but ahead of us is actually Henley Reach. This is where the boat races take place on this very stretch of water. Well, this is our mooring for the next couple of days, Henley on Thames. A nice little spot here with a big wide concrete towpath. Not quite sure how I can walk smudge in this field, if I'm allowed to, but uh, we'll find him somewhere. There's grass just outside the boat, so we'll cope. But it's not a bad spot. Right opposite the Phyllis Court Club. Can't be bad. Well, as it's cooled down a little bit now, we're gonna take young smudge for his walk, evening walk. Even though the poor old boy did get attacked by a bulldog as we walked past. The dog was on a lead, to be fair. One of them extending ones. So the bloke, he had no control over the dog whatsoever. But as you can see, no harm done to Smudge. He got through it okay. Now this is the river viewed from the bridge. Our moorings are just off up on the right hand side. Has he got a name? I call him a Zarafa. <laughs> not sure about it. No, he's not. That's why I'm keeping him on his lead. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. So, this is the third time we've tried this. So, third time lucky. Well, I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. And Father Christmas bought you all the presents that you wanted. If not, you just have to be good and hope again for next year. <laughs> um, on a different note, thank you to everybody who made such wonderful comments yes. on our Braunston Christmas vlog. We enjoyed Braunston and obviously it's come out that you've also enjoyed watching us yes. have fun. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much. Steve was kept really busy with all the comments yeah. on that one. I think I've only just about got round replying to all your comments, so thank you very much. Yeah. We've had comments from people that have never commented before yeah. but have been watching the vlogs from day one, so that was absolutely marvellous to hear from you. So thank you again for your comments and what have you. Um, but we're going. this will be going out now, I think, uh, in the new year. So... Or, well, just, I think it's, it's, it's definitely going to be the new year. It's going to be so, the new year. So yeah, happy wish, new year. <laughs> happy new year to everyone. Hope you have a prosperous year and hope you're staying well for this year because I know some of you have had a, a, a horrible year this year with health issues. So hopefully yeah. this year, next year, or well, this year as it might be, uh, <laughs> will be better for you all. So uh, here's for the future to you all anyway. And yeah. thanks again for your... your support last year and the previous years. Um, I just want to finish off really by saying that as it's a new year, we are going to move the vlog dates from Wednesdays to Sundays. It's purely a logistical reason. It just means that it's difficult for us to get the vlogs out on a Wednesday um, because we're usually cruising during the week. So it means coming out on a Sunday gives us a little bit more time to get that done. So after this vlog, all the other vlogs are going to go out on a Sunday. I hope that doesn't cause you too much of a problem, but I think most of you watch 
vlogs of a weekend yeah. anyway. So there you go. So yeah, Friday nights normally our vlog night, isn't it? Friday so nights our vlog night. Yeah, we, yeah, we, normally we just watch. sit and watch all the vlogs. So there you go. So once again, folks, thank you so much for your support and for watching. And uh, do take care. Do stay warm if you can, and stay well. And we will see you next time on life on board. Yeah. Amy, I would very nearly said next, next year. Like next year, but we're already <laughs> in that year. But yeah. So we we will see you next time on life on board. Amy Joe. Bye for now. Bye.